So these are instructions for my Lifesavers candy book. This rectangle is my base piece and it has a scored rectangle in the center of it. These four pieces make up the sides and this is how they are assembled. First you want to fold down on all the score lines. So I'm going to start with the long side of my book and I've already prepared one piece. They're both done the same way except they're mirror images of one another. So I've already done the one for the left hand side and this is going to be the one for the right hand side. Um, I fold it down on all the score lines. Now I'm going to flip my piece over and I have this reinforcement piece that mimics the four holes that are on this panel. So I'm just putting glue on that panel and I'm gluing it to the underside. There's a little gap and I want there to be an even border around the circles. And then I'm going to put my ribbon piece. So I have a very narrow opening for my ribbon and my ribbon is a quarter inch wide and I'm just going to thread that through. I'm threading upwards through the first hole and then downwards on the next. Upwards again on the next one. And downwards on the next. And I'm just going to continue that pattern. So now I'm putting a little bit of double-sided tape on the underside. I'm removing the backing from my double-sided tape and I'm gluing my ribbon down at one end and then I'm pulling it taut I'm putting a piece of double-sided tape on the other end and then laying my ribbon flat and snipping off the excess. So my two long pieces are ready to be installed onto my base panel. Now I'm going to do the top and the bottom. I've already prepared the top, so I'm going to do the same thing with the ribbon for the bottom. I'm going to start from the underside of my piece and thread it through the top, back down the bottom, the top again, and the bottom, and then one more time. So this time I'm putting my double-sided tape on the inside underneath the ribbon because I don't want it to interfere with that corner piece. So. I'm folding my ribbon back onto the double-sided tape. Then I'm pulling my ribbon taut just like I did for the long side. And then I'm taking the backing off my double-sided tape and folding my ribbon back like so. And then I'm snipping off the excess. I have my base panel, which I've cut out of patterned paper, and you can sort of see the score line, the rectangular score line in the center. And I'm going to take one of my long panels. So first I'm going to go down my sides. You've got the hole, the ribbon, a blank panel, and then the panel that you want to put your glue on. And I'm just gluing my bottom panel. So I want it to be even on the top and the bottom, and I want it to go right up against that score line like so. I'm going to do that with the other side as well. I'm putting glue on the tab that has the sharper angles. I'm going to do the same thing with the top piece and the bottom piece. Next, I'm putting glue from the score line to the edge of this piece, and then I'm tucking this piece under. I'm gluing it flat. I'm gluing it up against my patterned paper. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side.
Next I'm putting glue on that bottom tab. And I'm just gluing that tab down to my patterned paper. Like so. Tabs on each side, I'm folding them so that they tuck into those side panels. And then and my corners fit over those straight sides like so. And I'm going to do the other side and I'm going to glue all of that in place. Folding those side tabs over so that they fit inside those rectangular pieces. And they all fit inside like so. So now you just want to put a little bit of glue on the corners and glue them in place. A little bit of glue on those long sides and then pushing that corner so that it's a 90 degree corner. I'm taking my lifesavers and I'm fitting them into those holes. So next I have a piece of foil craft board and then I have a panel which I have embossed in an embossing folder on an embossing machine. And I'm just going to glue that on top. Then I have another piece of foil craft board and then my print and cut Santa. And I'm just going to glue my Believe on top of that. So I'm just going to glue all of that as you see. And then I have my book pieces. Now for my book, I have two score lines in the center of my panel, which is the spine of my book. So my book piece just fits inside like so. I'm going to put glue on the bottom of the box that I've created and then I'm going to place it right up against that score line. So I want an even amount of overlap on the top and on the bottom. I'm just pressing down until that glue takes and I have my trim pieces which I'm going to glue in. Piece for the cover and then I have a little bow for the top. I'm just putting double-sided tape on the back of my bow and then just gluing it at the top, like so. Now that I've glued the image and the sentiment on my cover, I'm just going to glue it to the top of my book. I'm gonna to try to maintain an even border all the way around. So now that I've completed one book, with one box for four rolls of candy. I'm doing a double box, so for eight rolls of candy. Up to this point, the instructions are the same as for the single box version, but for the double box, I have these extra panels. One panel with, with a vertical score line, and a second panel with a score line that creates a tab. And I'm just going to put glue all along that tab, just gluing that tab down on the other side of that score line. So this provides the thickness for my book. And I'm going to glue both boxes down. So I want to glue each one of them up against the score line in the center. So that's the spine of my book. So I've just glued down my right hand side. I want an even border on the top and the bottom. And I want it right up against that score line. And I'm going to do the same for the other side. And then I'm gluing that one down. So then I have this one piece that has three score lines down the length of it. Folded back on these score lines and then I folded the center one so that it pops upwards, so it's like a tent. I'm putting glue all along one of those tabs. I'm gluing it right along the edge. My score line for the tab is flush with the edge of my box. Then I'm gonna put glue on the tab that's on the other side, and then I'm gluing that tab to the top of the other box on the opposite side. So I've just glued in those two tabs on the inside like so. So when you close your book, that piece folds upwards like so. So next I've already adhered all my craft board and my printed images in white and black vinyl onto my cover piece, which I'm just going to glue to the top like so. So now that I've glued the image on top of my cover, that's the inside, I've added some bows at the top, and then I'm just going to slide my lifesavers into place. So I have the one box, one layer version with the four candy rolls. And then I have the two box version with the eight candy rolls. And those 
those are my lifesavers books.